Bits and bobbles for sale. I think he wets himself. The finest cuts. And this is why I like you, Inigo. Good job. Good man. All right, welcome back everyone to Big D's Let's Plays, and we are back at it. We just barely killed the dragon from the Western Watchtower, and now we are going to move on and talk to the Greybeards and see what they can do for us. All right, hey, if you guys like these videos, go ahead and put down a like down below. Just let me know how I'm doing, and hey, subscribe. Anyway, let's get back to it. Anyway, here we are. Hey, Earleth, what you doing? And what might you need, hmm? Oh, uh, nothing, just saying hi. Hello? You lost? You know, that is a good question. How did a Dark Elf come to be a house Carl? Valgruff and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he oh. became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. Alright, cool. So, kind of like Blood Brothers, huh? Do you guys have a tattoo somewhere, too? All right. Well, anyways, what does a house Carl do? I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife. So you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end like at the tip of, of my blade. Way of conclusively resolving the big questions in life. <laughs> what kind of what kind of threats does the Jarl face? Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> I think Balgriff would probably be an awesome High King if they actually gave him an option. Yeah. I've got my eyes on you. And Ereleth would be like the uh, leader of all of his armies kind of set up. Yeah, she's kind of crazy, but I guess she's just the right type of paranoia that you need to uh, keep your Jarl safe. Oh, hello. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Oh, hi, Lydia. I'm a Thane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. Cool. All right. So what does a house girl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. All right, well, I'm not going to use your life, so let's go ahead and just uh, continue on. Yeah, come on, let's bring you along. Lead the way. So we get some time to know each other. All right, so I guess I have a house Carl. Cool. Let's see what she can do. Are you? What the? Over here. I am the blue thing talking to you. The blue thing? Oh, hi. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Likewise. Are you feeling okay? You seem distracted. Um, what were we talking about? I was just saying, you seem a bit distracted. I am. I've got some fresh cabbage. I'm thinking of making some apple cabbage stew. Uh, okay. I will leave you to your thoughts. Maybe I'll do turnips next. Hmm. Or maybe radishes? I hope her sword arm works better than her head. Sheesh. Why, you... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Not Lucian. Good to see you. So what do you what do you know about the Dragonborn? Ah, you're convinced that that's what you are then? It certainly looks that way. I don't know yet. No, I just want to know what Balgruff and the others were talking about. 
It certainly looks that way. It's true, the evidence does seem to suggest that. But I think a certain degree of skepticism is in order. Tests, not superstition. That's how we'll find out exactly what you are. Anyway, you ask me what I know. I'm more familiar with the Cyrodiilic legends than the Nordic ones, but I'll tell you what I've read. Though some scholars on Solstheim dispute it, the first definite use of the term Dragonborn is attributed to Saint Alessia back in the First Era. The story goes that on her deathbed, Alessia made a pact with Akatosh, who infused her with his divine blood and granted her the Amulet of Kings. Akatosh then sealed off the Plains of Oblivion, banishing the Aedra and Daedra from the surface of Nern forevermore. Or at least, for as long as one of Alessia's descendants sat on the throne of Cyrodiil and wore the amulet. From then on, Alessia's descendants were known as Dragonborn. Of course, that line ended with the death of Martin Septim during the Oblivion Crisis. But he turned into a giant dragon and kicked Mehrunes Dagon back into the Deadlands, which seems to have confused things. Anyway, skip ahead a couple of hundred years and here you are, supposedly with that same dragon blood in your veins. The somewhat primitive Nordic myths claim that lets you absorb the soul of a dragon, which we've both seen you do, and channel it into a shout. But as far as I'm aware, no one ever saw any of the Dragonborn Emperors do that. Maybe you're related to them. Maybe the gods just like you. In any case, as I said, I have a feeling we'll find out more soon enough. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? If we are related to the Septum Dynasty, maybe we should just actually head and down to the uh, the Empire and be like, Hey, I am the most closest relative to Tiber Septum. Make me your Emperor. You guys are all totally dimwits and... Oh man, it will be a new whole civil war and we'll just be like shouting all the time. Oof. It's like, hear me roar. Let's go. All right. So, let's retire at the end for a little bit. It's been a long day. There we go. Yeah, it's nice and quiet, nice and empty. All right, Lydia? Let me know if you have anything you need from me. Okay. Let's take a look. It would be my pleasure. Okay, she's got basic hunting bow and a steel sword. So, you're definitely the warrior. Lead on. Uh huh. Hey, Indigo. Something on your mind? Now, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that it is colder outside than it is in here. That's true. All right. I need you to do something. What would you have me do? How can I help you, my friend? Well, let's go take a sip. It will be done. There we go. It is good to be relaxing. Join me. Hey, Lucian, you what want to take a seat too? You, my friend. Certainly. What needs doing? Let me show you. I am at your service. Go sit down. Sure. Hey, Lydia, just guard the door. All right, there we go. You should think about staying the night. Oh, well, goodbye, Lucian. Guess he doesn't want to have a talk. How you doing, Inigo? What's going on? What is on your mind? So, I noticed that loot in your cell was full of arrows. I take it you prefer singing? Yes. I have never been very good, though. I enjoy writing songs, but sometimes it is more fun just making up words as I go along. Improvisation keeps the mind sharp and boredom at bay. If I asked... Would you sing something while we were traveling? Maybe, but nothing too serious. I would rather save my proper songs for the Bard's College. For now, anyway. Why? Well, I know it is silly, but my songs are special to me. I would rather perform them in a special place. However, if you just want me to improvise something while we are traveling, maybe I can help you out. We will see. All right. Mind if I ask you something? You have my full attention. Okay, so the options for this one is, do you want to relax here for a bit with basically um, 
allows him to stay in this area until we come back and get him there's also the option let's talk about talking which changes the way that he okay you know idle chit chat and what to expect when we're sneaking but uh, i'm not changing any of this i actually i love his banter so we're not changing anything whatsoever on that one let's do something else okay let's discuss combat yes but let us strategize exactly that what are your current combat tactics i am being aggressive and in battle i am fighting how i choose all right about your aggression i can be quite excitable all right try only to fight when it's necessary about your fighting style i am versatile <laughs> yeah he is favor the blade get in close if possible favor the bow use range attacks whenever you can let's do that okay i will endeavor to lend support from a distance okay and let's go back out i want to talk you about something else full attention. okay now let me ask you tell me about yourself i have no knack for magic i'm afraid oh all right don't worry about that we got you covered tell me more about yourself after exploring many ruins here i have become good at avoiding most traps poison spikes and fire do not agree with me you can tell by all these scars he's already been through quite a few dungeons already tell me more about yourself i love archery i once shot a man's hat off at 60 paces if he hadn't ducked i would have got his head <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Machines are interesting, but I do not trust them. Oh, that's interesting. Ugly is a state of mind. I hate ugly minds. All right, and let's back out. I want to ask you something okay. else. Tell me about your past. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. <laughs> that is a little bit extreme. You could have killed someone. Or, I'm glad, serves the little louts right. Or you can just ask him more about his past. I feel like that's a little bit extreme. Childhood is extreme. It is a time of hard learning, but also teaching. Anyway, I never seriously hurt anyone until I was a lot older. Hmm. Tell me more about your past. My father showed my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. Tell me more about your past. I grew up in Riverhold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at least. My brother found death. What? So you found love? Well, now that I think about it, That's maybe cool. it was not love. Oh. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Oh. Anyway, all that happened later. Well, poor Inigo. Tell me more about what happened with your brother. I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Alright, tell me more about your past. My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. No, oh, man, we can always adopt you. You're fine. What were your parents like? I suppose they were a bit of an old couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. I'm sorry for your loss, Inigo. That means a great deal. Thank you. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I found much work as swords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. What kind of jobs did you do? A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. Where did your travels take you? 
all over Cyrodiil, from the Gold Coast to the General Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times, traveling or working during the day, camping out under the stars at night. Life was when good. When I was a boy, my father used to let me sit in his workshop and watch him tinker with his inventions. I always pretended I was his apprentice. <laughs> awesome, Lucian. Okay, tell me more about your past. I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. Mm. He said that yeah, if I loved I him, kind of I would I run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent uh, and push me down the slope beyond. Some Khajiit hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died, but I live because of him. I'm sorry, losing your brother like that must have been terrible. Yes, that morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. Mm. Do you ever wish you would have stayed and fought? Every day, my friend. Every day. Yeah. What was your brother's name? His name was Fergus. Fergus. I miss him very much, but part of me is glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. Losing him that way was bound to affect you. I'm sure he would have understood. Maybe you are right. It is a nice thought. But I suppose I will never know. Alright. Tell me a little bit more about your past. I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. Well... Tell me more about your past. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. Did you love her? I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. Mm. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. Mm. Alright, tell me more about your past. I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in a scrap. We became mercenaries together. Huh. After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. Yeah. Do you ever miss Skuma? From time to time, my body does. But my mind is made up. I am wow. never touching this stuff again. It All right, good for you. Some painful memories, but it took my sense and reason as payment. It was not a fair trade. Yeah, you can only numb yourself so much until you actually start feeling just numb all the time. That's no way to live. Tell me about Felix. There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. Mm. Tell me more about your past. One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. No. His murder was my second to last step on the road of dishonor. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. That is my story. 
Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. Long hard road for Inigo. But for every long road, builds better character. And that's why he's such a good guy. Alright, okay, I think we're done here. Alright. Follow Come me out, boy. Let's go. We are on the move again. Yep. You want a drink? If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. You know, thank you so very much for being patient, but you really didn't need to stand there watching us the entire time. All right. Lydia? Lucian? Lucian Flavius, reporting for duty. Awesome, follow me out. Lead the way. Cool. On we go. Let's head on out. Time to start making our trip. Time to make it up to High Rothgar. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, let's go ahead and drop off these, uh, oops. Not yet. What time is it? Put those away, boys. Oh, yeah, we gotta wait a little bit. Let's talk around to people around town. Tired of bread and stew? Oh, Arcadia. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Oh. I have some frost sauce for you from Farangar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here, these potions should suffice. Really? Farangar? Alright. Whatever makes you happy. So you're a healer? Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but... Something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or wit bane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Mm. All right. So thank you so very much. You too. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. Hello. Yes. How you doing, Fiana? Hmm. That's it. Hmm. So are you gonna say? Hmm. Yeah. What? Oh, that's a new one. Okay. Hi, Nazim. How you doing? Oh, it took years, but I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful business, obviously. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yes, plain. What is it? Just want to talk. Yes. What is it that you want? A little bit. Yes, my pain. Why can't you just tell me exactly that I deserve to be up there? Something important to say? Yeah. Why don't we talk about being up there at Cloud Cloud Ruler Temple, huh? Yes. Oh, that's it. All right, that's it. That's it, guys. He's not gonna talk about it. We took his thunder. Come to chat with an old woman. Hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Aww. Tired of bread and stew? Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. All right. See what you got. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Ooh, venison, tomatoes. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Whoa, wait a minute. Why do you have dog meat? Oh, we are not buying from you. That's terrible. Did you kill all this game yourself? Oh, yes. Hunting is my great passion. Sorry, what? That's why my brother Shut and I opened up. a shop to sell hunting no. supplies. It's the drunken huntsman down tender. by the main gate. He tends the store, and I've got this stall. Ah! <laughs> Someone! <laughs> Help me! Help me! Bits and bobbles for sale! I think he wets himself. The finest cuts. And this is why I like you, Inigo. Good job, good man. Congratulations on becoming a thane, my friend. You oh. the title well. Oh, thank you. I do, I do. I can't wait to uh, abuse the powers that come with it. Maybe might get myself like a royal seat. Cushion and everything. Any thoughts? This place is like a sensory enema. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. Let us get back to it. <laughs> One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. 
where have you been? This war has been awesome. This war is good for business. That's where inflation comes from. It gives us money for uh, dealing with their problems when no one else cares about them. Hi, Arcadia. Good to see you. What do you got for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Well, obviously, yeah. Let's see. Cured potion of disease? Nah, it's okay. What do you do? Doesn't look like butter. She has butter. All right. Okay. Yep. Take care of yourself. You too. Ooh, herbalist guide. I bet you could get a good price for those gems. Yeah. I probably could. Okay, so this is going to be the book we're going to be reading at the end of the uh, episode. It's called The Herbalist Guide to Skyrim. <laughs> I'll pop back here and uh, read it before the episode's over. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Yeah, I just want to be able to pick it up right now, but uh, we still have to worry about our reputation. Nothing of our struggles. Whoa! Our Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Yeah, no, right? Confrontation in the market. Pick up your jaw. Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you holding my forehead? <laughs> Do you believe I this old hat? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, cow. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm-cloaked traitor. And you? You... Best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened there. Something just popped up on my screen. All right. Let's go, guys. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? We definitely need to head up and talk to uh, Farangar one more time. We need some spells. Something that can actually reach a dragon if we get attacked by another one. Dragon's Reach. Shrine of Talus. Amran. All right, so this has really just been getting a fill through uh, Whiterun and talk to Inigo and get a uh, full idea of what kind of backstory he has. And it's just the communication. I want to be able to uh, deliver our followers and see what they're all about, okay? It's important that we understand who Inigo is. Here, I'd like you to have this as a token of my friendship. Whoa, seriously, Farangar? Thank you. Oh, just an iron sword? You can have that back. Good to see you. Okay, let's talk about some trading. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. Yeah. Alright, so take a look over at the books. Okay, we got bound sword, and then let's see. Do fire bolts or we do lightning bolt. Alright, let's do lightning bolt. It's a good way to start off. Okay, we already know these ones. Reanimate Corpse, Soul Trap. Let's get Soul Trap. I feel like that's a good one to have at this point. Okay, we got Stone Flash. Healing. Okay, let's turn Lesser Undead. Oops. And then we got, um, yeah. Do some Candlelight. Should we do Calm? Now we don't have enough gold anyway. Okay, I think this will do it. All right, thank you, Farangar. It's been good talking to you. You too. Oh wait a minute, do we have anything to sell? Divine smile on you. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. 
Oh, we got some circles to sell. Yeah, sell you, sell you, sell you, and sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you, and you. Oh, wow, we got some money back. I can't believe I almost missed all this. Scroll of the Firestorm. Hello? That's pretty nice. Uh, okay, we'll sell the Fireball Scrolls, and then we'll... Guardian Circle, undead up to level 35. Entering the circle will flee. Caster heals 20 health per second inside. All right, we'll keep that one too. Scroll of Hysteria. Yeah, we'll sell that one. I don't want them running away when I could just like take them out with some spells. Uh, Scroll of Blizzard. Twin. Let's see. Targets take 20 points of frost damage for 10 seconds. A uh, total of 200 plus stamina damage. Um... Nah, I can sell and get more of a value out of it. Yeah, we'll sell Harmony. Just need one. And yeah, we'll keep the others. Actually, we'll sell the Guardian Circle. Okay. Alright, now let's go back over. Be courage. And why don't we pick up a spell for Lucian? So we'll do Firebolt. And let's go ahead and conjure familiar. You take care of yourself now. You too, Farangar. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Lucian? What can I do for you, my friend? Nothing new. Alright, sh shall we continue our, our your training? Already? I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson. Perhaps another time. Alright, so it hasn't been 24 hours yet, so let's All go right. on. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, if you guys have any mods you think I should try out to see whether or not uh, there'll be a good selection, uh, give me a shout out and I'll take a huge look at them and see whether or not uh, it will work in my work uh, in my load order. And yeah. This one thing about this game, I just want to keep on expanding on it, make it a little bit better every single time, and add in as much as possible. I played this game before, and I really do enjoy it. Oh. Someone was asking for money. Can give a handout, but I don't see him. All right, and just like that. That was me. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. All right, who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Redguard woman. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. All right, and who are you looking for again? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Huh, interesting. All right. I've been looking for you. From us forever. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You know... I think we just missed a friend of ours. He must have popped in right behind us. And gave him the letter and just popped away. Alright, that's interesting. Anything else? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Saw so a red guard woman, huh? I wonder if it's the same one that we just saw with the scar. Huh. Well, I guess we'll come back and talk with her in a little bit. First, we'll check out High Rothgar. We'll do a level up real quick. Okay, so we got Magicka, 120 on health, and Sanima's at 100, and 150 on Magicka. Well, it's 120. So, let's go ahead and drop a point into... Yeah, let's do health. There we go. 
All right, so here are the options. We have restoration and we also have alteration. Conjuration is also a big one. Yeah, let's drop another point here. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Hey, thank you guys so very much for watching as we did a full walk as we did a walkthrough of White Run. And just getting to know his citizens and being able to talk through Inigo. Uh, trying to find out a little bit more about him and his past. And hey, if you guys like the videos that we have, go ahead and put down a like down below and subscribe so we can bring you more videos out to you soon. Hey, thank you so very much for watching. This is Big D. Talk to you guys later and stay safe. Bye now. All right, time for some book reading. Herbalist Guide to Skyrim. Let's do this. Herbalist Guide to Skyrim by Agneta Thalia. Those avoiding the northern province due to claims of barbarism or concerns over climates are doing themselves a disservice. In fact, Skyrim has a wealth of materials that all, every alchemist would do well to avail himself of. I traveled extensively throughout this land and here are but a few of my findings. Alright, that looks like uh, the bloody mushroom. I can't remember which one that was. Alright. Bleeding crown, that is right. Should just turn the page to find out. Bleeding crown, the caps of these mushrooms do indeed appear smeared with blood, although it is often hard to see in the dark, damp places in which they grow. Not uncommonly found in Skyrim, their abundance is countered by the difficulty in, re in acquiring them. As any experienced Herbalist knows the darkest of the, the darkest of caves often can sell more than mere mushrooms. Nonetheless, these potent fungi, were, when combined with certain powdered antlers, produce a mixture rendering one quite susceptible to poison. Their usefulness is also apparent when mixed with lavender, creating a substance highly resistant to magic. Death Bell, Death Bell, fourth. Deathbell folklore abounds about this flower found in the swamps of Hy Hylomarch. Swamps of Halmarch. Some stories claim it grows where unfortunate deaths have taken place. Others insist it grows first and then lures unsuspecting people and animals to their doom. I have found no direct evidence to support these stories. Indeed, I have found follower, uh, flowers difficult to locate at all. While it is most well known for its use in poisons, it would be remiss to overlook that the blooms of a death bow are very effective in mix mixtures for boosting one's alchemy skill. Really? I did not know that. Orange Dartwing. Dragonfly. A surprising number of insects survive the Skyrim's cl climate, many thriving in the lower southern areas of the province. Dragonflies can be found in, in a great many places, and while catching them can be a daunting prospect, the reward is well worth the efforts. It, is, it was beyond the scope of my research to determine whether the orange or blue dragonflies are fully different breeds or merely simple color variations. But throughout, but through experimentation, I found that the orange dragonfly, when combined with a very hardy barnacles found along the coast, transfer some of their flighty nature, giving the herbalist some of nimble fingers. All right, so it helps pickpocketing. All right, hag raven claw, hag raven claw. The claws of the hag raven are best obtained in shops. It is inadvisable to suggest one collects them themselves. These creatures have traded in their humanity for access to powerful magics and the transformations they undergo infuse their entire beings with some elements of that power. Ingesting that powered claws make one more resistant to magic, but an especially curious property of the claws is revealed when mixed with snowberries, often found in Skyrim's higher elevations. I found myself capable of comprehending the enchantments I had believed mystifying after ingesting the mixture, and passed this knowledge on to several court wizards who were grateful grateful for the knowledge. Jazz Bay. There was a time when 
it would be considered treason to pick up these grapes without express permission from the emperor himself. Really? It is understanding the that although growers in Skyrim were success, <laughs> successful in improving fruit survivability, it came at the cost of flavor. No longer is it quite the prize it once was. And yet, growing a mist of volcanic tundra of Eastmarch, it is still immensely useful for concocting potions. Mages value value it highly as it can be combined with simple garlic to enhance the regeneration of magicka. Good to know. While no longer against the law, picking these grapes in large amounts is kept to oneself. Huh. Luna Moth Wings. As with the dragonflies, I am taken aback by a number of butterflies, moths, and other insects that manage to thrive in Skyrim. I know, we like catching them. The Luna Moth is especially beautiful and it's thin. Alright, there we go. The Luna Moth is especially beautiful, it's thin, and almost inferior wings seem to too delicate to hoist anything into the air, giving them an almost magical appearance. Indeed, that sense extends to the properties they exhibit when crushed and distilled. An action, I admit, was difficult to perform at first, but no matter my resolve to discover all Skymers has to offer, these creatures are simply that beautiful. While they can be used for creating poisons that damage Magicka, I feel that they would be a waste of their potential. Do not be alarmed if when wings are broken down almost completely, they appear to almost disappear under your pistol. That very quality makes the wings quite effective in potions of visibility. Alright. Tundra Cotton. Not all Nors are savages wrapped in animal skins, howling at the moons. Okay. There are a wide variety of fabrics worn throughout the land, thanks in no small part to the stubborn Tundra Cotton plant. It soaks up the rain and it can it can in the plains west of Whiterun, and blooms frequently. While it does not exhibit any of the more striking a chemical properties, it is a staple of potions not only for fortifying magicka, but for resting or for resisting spells as well. I wonder if the quality is what allows it to have adapted so well in this climate. Ooh, Nightshade. The name and shape of this plant are known to all. A long understood to be one of the most potent components in many poisons, the average Nord keeps his distance from the bright purple flowers nestled among the dark leaves. It, ex it is exceedingly effective as a pure poison, but can also be combined with other com compounds to stiffen joints as well. It is thus favored amongst those who wish to disable their opponents in battle, and can be found coating the blaze of many of more unsavory characters in Skyrim. Alright, and just like that guys, we are finished with this book, and there we go, we're going to add this one to our collection of books read throughout this series. And hey, you guys all have a good one, Why take it easy. Off those bits of dead dragon? They are weighing you down. In I go. We are not selling them off. We have a lot to do with these ones. All right. And you guys all take it easy. Y'all have a beautiful day. And stay safe out there. Bye now.